I'm gonna use that cat today. Then I'm gonna update you guys on some stuff that I'm adding to the bag. I cannot stand that place. I'm back. Okay, really quick, you guys wanna see some improvements on the house? For those of you who have been keeping up. Bedroom number one. Bedroom number two. And this is a bathroom, but we just don't have, uh, we don't have lights in here yet. And then a soon to be kitchen. And the living room that used to be my uh, little putting, putting area. Okay, oh, enough of that. Um, this isn't anything special. It's just steak and cheese and pesto, so. I gotta flatten this guy out. Roll this fatty up. Ew! I don't like using toothpicks, but whatever. I just wanna, I wanna make sure all that flavor stays in, you know what I'm saying? Now, whether or not I remember to take these guys out, that'll be a whole other question. <laughs> you can put this good looking guy on there. Yeah, yeet right there in the center. <laughs> we'll let him do his thing and then we can go look at my bag. Oh, all right, welcome to my bedroom floor. Some of my discs. We've lost some OGs recently. The bottom stamp destroyer, lost it. The Simon Lazat MD4 signed by Simon Lazat, lost it. The disc that I got out of the vending machine, lost it. 350 GPA3, lost it. So I've got to add some things to the bag. So to replace the PA3s, I now have an AVR3. Not really the same as far as feel and whatnot, but it's beat in. It's just a dead straight hydro flip. I've also got the Sensei. This is one that I literally do not care about losing. My FX2 and Draco are now coming out of the bag because I'm adding in a new, brand new, Metal Flake FD3. Shout out to Ono Disc Golf. I made a video with this uh, Great White by Wild Discs and it was a sick blue Metal Flake disc and I was like, I've never had a blue Metal Flake disc before and Ono hit me up on Instagram and was like, yo, I got you. So he sent me this. So this is now going in the bag along with a C-Line FD3. So very overstable, still pretty overstable, but not as much as this. These will be my forehand and backhand discs. So I need an overstable mid-range. So I'm gonna add in a fresh Iron Samurai 4. All right, so these are my choices for the new MD4 replacement. I don't like green, but I think it's a sick X out stamp, but he doesn't make the cut. And then it's a tie between these two. And I think we both know which one I'm gonna choose, but this looks so sick. Yeah, I'm going with blue. Now I'm not saying like the MD4 is the Iron Samurai 4. It's just, uh, I need some type of stability because the only other mid-range that I throw is a Mako 3, and that's pretty dead straight. So the Iron Samurai 4 is just something stable. So then from there, from, oh, what is this? I mean, it has, oh, this is Caleb's star boss. This doesn't go in there. I now need a, sh I need a straight flying 10 speed because I lost that Orion, which I fell in love with. I might just hold off on the straight flying because I do have like, this instinct is just a seven speed and then this other instinct that's a seven speed and then an FD, which is another seven speed. So, which is kind of dumb because these all pretty much do the same thing. One of you guys might have to come out. Nope, I can't. I think I gotta keep all you guys in there. I can't, my heart's telling me no. I might just have to wait on that 10 speed because I might just buy another Orion. That thing flew so good. Ooh. I forgot, I'm adding this guy. This is my European Open Essence. Um, I do have this Essence, it's the Zen. I only have one of them. And I think this one's a little bit more stable. Well, I know it's a little bit more stable. Um, I was throwing it in Seattle, so if you haven't seen that vlog, well, check it out, I was throwing it there. But these two are going in now. I like having twos of everything. It also helps as far as practicing. So I've got two FP3s, two Instincts, two Essences. Oh, the Destroyer. Calvin Destroyer, this one's fresh. This dude is getting beat up. You can see a little bit of the differences. So that's also getting added in for overstable drivers. Honestly, I'm doing away with the Kona Penis Emperor. Can't really throw it anymore. It's just entirely too flippy. So I'm adding in a new DD3. Well, I have two. One has something special being done to it. And then the other is going to be this cat. He's been in the oven a couple times. He's also been in the freezer, but he's still chilling so he's back in the bag and then once that other dd3 gets in we're done with this little paint job that'll be in the bag so that's that let's go check on the steak so this bad boy is done oh wait 
Oh gosh. You gotta let it rest. Rest very nicely. Hey. Sorry. All right, moment of truth. Let's cut into this bad boy. Ooh, wee. Look at this. Oh, oh shoot. Let's try it, you ready? Cheers. <laughs> All right, I got a BTR tournament this weekend. Good luck to any of you guys who have tournaments and I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Oh.